Yeah. You know, and again, I come back to where is your smartest and biggest opportunity to, to make a difference? So if we're going to raise our level of ambition and put 1.5 uh, on the, the potential scorecard in terms of our climate action, where do you get most bang for your buck in bending that curve? Um, and quite frankly, you get it in the world's cities. Now, if, if we look at this urbanization that's going to be happening in the century, it's quite different to the urbanization that generated, for example, Rotterdam, where we're sitting here today. It's going to be a, a process of urbanization that generates small, largely informal uh, type cities. And the question is, how do you put those onto a new development path? So you leapfrog the carbon intensive uh, patterns of development which have characterized the, the cities of the past. And that for me is, if we're able to develop that new vision for urbanization in an entirely different context, entirely different manner, which allows us to go from intensive carbon reliance in our cities to something that's obviously low carbon, climate resilient, there you stand your greatest chance of, of uh, bending the curve to, to that 1.5. Quite frankly, without cities, you don't get 1.5. So the question is, how do we urbanize the climate protection debate? And I think that's one of the big challenges that the Paris Agreement has left us with.